What's up guys, welcome to this new video tutorial presented by IQ Codec. I'm Fabrice from IQ Codec and I'm bringing to you this video. So, first of all, I want to start by actually demanding pardon for my late time posting. I've been very sick for a while now and that is why it's actually difficult for me to make tutorials. But happy to see that I'm actually getting better and I decided to do a video. So. In the video tutorial of today, what I'm going to do is not something strange. I'm just going to do a recap of one of my last videos that, that actually did good, and some of you actually had some issues. This is actually on Vimos. So, Vimos is an Android, I can say, an, a double Android system installed on an Android phone it enables you to have two Android devices on your Android phone. And the last video I did actually nine months ago with 16,000 views right now, I'm grateful for you that, and I hope this video will hit 50,000 views because. In the video of today, I'm going to be solving all the problems that you guys actually had in this video because most of you actually had problems with actually being stuck at a particular level, actually problem of RAM, problem of storage and we're going to fix all of that in this video. So please, if it's your first time on the channel, click on the subscribe button and see you after the video introduction. So as I said in the video in the video introduction, what I'm going to look into today is something something special. And as the title says, I'm going to show you how to install Vmos, the latest updated version. So this is the best method for the year 2021. So to so have your phone ready for the next year 2021. So as the title says, we're not going to need internet, so I'm going to disable internet. But make sure that I already have all the files needed for this method. So this is the three minute very short installation but i'm going to actually make it long since i'm going to be installing and the progress bar has to go on but actually it's very very short so for this you need your zia chief i'm going to leave the link this is actually you can download it from google play and the zia chief you're going to need the latest version of vimo so i already have it but i'm going to leave the download link in the description so vimo is very very pretty and for this please what can i say about the the requirement of your android device so most of you actually have problems with android devices that so please the suggested requirement for vmos is an android device with at least two gigabyte of ram and five gigabyte of free space what do i mean so if you actually have a two gigabyte of ram and if you have android phone actually has you can say three to four cores six cores processor eight cores 12 very good so if you actually have a processor of 12 cores and above what, what am I saying? Six cores, four to so far from four cores, you're actually good to go with this. And to actually know how many cores your phone is running, you should actually download CPU Z, which I'm actually going to leave in the description. And no matter which Android version your phone is running, I can see as from Android version 5, you're going to be able to do this tutorial. So, as I was saying, you need the latest version of Vimos. I think actually in the folder Mobizen. Okay, yeah, yeah, ESO is actually a WinRAR file, so that's why I said you should download ZRG, which I'm going to leave in the description. So, this, this is the latest version of the VMOS, which actually all problems have been fixed problems of actually stagnation at a particular point. So, as the video title says, I'm going to do no root, no ROM download, everything will be done offline. As you can see, my data connection is actually off. And a big hands up for our fans from Pakistan, from India, from the United States, from Brazil, and from all the other countries that I'm not named. We actually love you all. So, for this, when all this is done, the first thing you need to do on so you can see as a file, just click in here and go to extract to achievement. So, that is very easy. Extract to achievement directly, which is actually going to extract it in a replicate of this. So, please don't be scared. With these, are actually many advantages of using VMOS. I don't know if I'm going to do. A different video which, which i'm going to talk about the pros and cons what you should know on demos and please if you're actually good with that just make me to know in the description and tell me if i should do the video talking about females or the like because i don't actually have time to do that on this video so once you extract the file this is what you're going to get okay so once you have this so you can see we actually have android come for vmo glb and apk and please if you have not watched that first video take note to watch it before watching this one because now it's actually almost the same method just that the updated version is very very cool so first thing to do is just to copy inside your android folder open obb copy this file com.vmos 
you copy it when copying you go to the root directory you can see it is i look for the folder android obb and click on the piece so this is your room and i'm you are going to need no data please if this video is actually good for you leave a hands up and leave a, a thumb like and please if you need us to do a video for you just make us know in the video description so i'm actually looking for the folder more business so we can continue so we have already taken our obb file actually ex export it to our android root folder so next is to install this convimos glb.apk so click on the install and open so with this just install there are actually many advantages of using vmos the ability to create fake account multiple account bypass some system so those are the few things you can do with vmos which is very very good so once this is done okay so so done if you go to our you are going to see vmos so let us get into user interface of vmos so that is it when the user interface of vmos and that is it so yeah it is vmos scroll 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 so say enter vimo so enable floating which say that once your application should actually appear up the tax bar so just on it actually very cool activate on the back arrow to authorize allow access location storage and audio and please if you have any problem with this video let me know so you can see our zipping data so no data consumption required so this is the very cool stage at this level so please don't be scared it actually does not end at the particular level just be patient and it's going to get filled so you can see mine is actually going this is not even the part that is actually taking long so after this is the part that is actually going to take long which i'm going to pause the video and resume it back once it is done so that's what i'm going to do when it, when it's going to come to where it actually takes long so after this complete okay and at this level i'm going to give a pause at the video and come back after it hit it has reached the max so let us just wait until it loads okay and as you can finally see our vmos is actually installed and yet how the user interface actually looks like and vmos actually has a lot of functionalities resolution floating windows virtual buttons and permission so all of this was so you can see we're actually running an android version 5 on our root android phone which is actually android version 9 so my android phone is android version 9 and i'm running vmos android version 5 Point one, and that is it. So, with this VMOS, you actually have the ability to install all your games. I can say Gerana Free Fire, Perk Online, Call of Duty Mobile. Actually, create multiple accounts, taking advantages of what the games offer. So, those are some of the key elements of how VMOS is being used. So, if you need a video on how to use VMOS, please let me know in the comment section. But you can see installation is done i can see the user interface is very very pretty cool so that was fabrice from actual codec hope you enjoyed the video tutorial and if you have any problem at any level concerning this video please let me know and i'm going to help you out so another thing is that if you actually have an error if something actually stuck somewhere let us say 99 percent the easiest thing to do is to clear the cages of the app so you come on storage you clear the cage and you start back the process so that's the best fix i will propose for you to do and that was the end of the video i am fabrice from actual codec if you love this and if you have any issue please don't hesitate to signal signal it in the comment section